Hi, and welcome to this Business Solutions podcast and video interview. I'm Jim Roddy, the president of Jameson Publishing and Business Solutions Magazine. Thank you for joining us today. As always, we're here to provide actionable information on how VARs can sell more products, penetrate thriving vertical markets, and improve their business operations. We're coming to you today from the press room of the Synex Spring Training Sales Conference being held at Skydome in Toronto. Our guest today to talk with us is Steve Bergeron. Steve is the president of Pre Key Tech, a manufacturer of custom and semi-custom keyboards. Steve, always nice to see you. Good to see you again, Jim. So, Steve, uh, first thing we want to talk about is the economy's been down this year, and so VARs are looking for new growth opportunities. Okay. Which vertical markets do you think are the most promising? Right now, the uh, the VARs, the new VARs that we're coming in contact with, are focused on mainly three verticals: uh, banking, which has been an established channel for us for the last several years, but uh, most notably coming into us from the government and medical sectors. Got it. And so why do you think those ones are, are the biggest? Um, right now, those three sectors, though there's you know a little bit of con- concern right with today within the banking sector, um, but they seem to have the, the most money and they also lend themselves really to the more sophisticated integrator uh, looking for value-added reselling and a, a more of a, a combined in, um, group solution. So you're bringing in hardware, software, um, on-site services, things like that, and that typically lends itself to AR products specifically and a, and a higher class of reseller. Got it. And so uh, can you talk about some of the challenges getting into those markets? Specifically, you know, the government market isn't the easiest, uh, easiest nut to crack. That's an understatement, Jim, for <laughs> sure. Um, it, it really comes down to many of the, uh, we saw this in the early, in the early stages of the retail um, market going into pieces and parts and into open systems, first off you have to find qualified and good ISVs that have a solution that you're comfortable selling. Um, so you need, you need to go out and do your homework on the ISV. Does it have good software? You know, it, does it, is it tailored to the expertise that you want to go in? Is it, med- is it office based? Is it prescription based? Is it POS based? Is it pharmacy based? So no different than in many of the other um, areas, there's very uh, specified or specific uh, vertical expertise needed from there. Um, within government, um, do I need to be GSA certified? How am I going to find my leads? There's websites out there, there's uh, search engines that will tell you when a government bid gets posted, so on and so forth. The, the biggest challenge is going to be once you find it, the process selling into government is laborious. Um, everything we read in the paper is, is really true. Um, we've been involved in a couple of, uh, of bids now for over 18 months and we're still in the bid stage. They've been posted. 18 months. 18 months. So it's, that's really, in, in the, the tier one retail, we see that as, as a pretty, pretty standard, but even now in government, you're getting into the longer and longer bid cycles. Now there are some short bid cycles, um, but they're usually not for the big home runs. Mm-hmm. Uh, so to speak. And so, how does a VAR help? Na- how does a VAR get help navigating around that? I remember one of the first stories I ever did. This is going back ten years when I started with the magazine. Was mm-hmm. somebody who almost lost their business because they started getting into the government market, and it was nothing but bids and bids, and long cycles, and a lot of investment up front, but no money coming in. So, what? Who can give them some guidance? Um, I, th- I think part of what you have to do is really look at, and in, in when you when you select your your ISV. Let them coach you along. So it, at some point, it has to be a sell-sell. You as the VAR working with the ISV saying, okay, these are my, um, my core competencies, no different than any other vertical you go after. And then if the ISV thinks you're competent and you've done a good job selling yourself to the ISV, they're going to come back to you and say, hey, we got this opportunity, we know this bid's going out, and they can help tag team because they're looking for a shortened sales cycle mm-hmm. as well. So I think if... If, if you work together with your ISV, you can shorten that sales cycle. Some of the bids, though, it comes down to know who and what your core competencies are. Uh, you know, we saw smaller companies in retail going after tier one and getting crushed because they couldn't, you know, so the same thing has to, yeah. if I'm a small to medium sized bar, I should only be really be going after the small to medium sized bids, which typically lend themselves to a quicker turn than if I'm going after the big home run. Uh, that's when you get gobbled up and, and it, as you indicated, it can crush you. Right, right. And so that ties in with financing. That's one other thing I wanted to ask you mm-hmm. about is uh, resellers say, 
great, I'd love to get into these markets, but how am I going to get financing to do some of these these projects? Where should they turn for financing in these you know tough economic times? Um, I really think that it's it's one of the uh, it's the responsibility of the of the distribution channel. Do they have um, financing services available within as part of their mm -hmm. uh, core competency to you? Not just hardware, software deliverables, but uh, financing should come from there. And if, you, if you're dealing with one of the larger OEMs as part of your business and solution um, process, many times too they have uh, financing available. With respect to um, peripheral companies such as Prey and some of the other folks I know you're interviewing today, I really don't think it falls into our lap because we're just one small piece of that puzzle uh, when, you're, when you're trying to go out and do, deliver the solution. Got it. And one thing is distributors are always willing to help out. A lot of them we've talked to are talking about, geez, I wish the resellers would come to us more. There's so many other services that we offer. Absolutely. I've uh, spent the last couple of weeks, three weeks, I guess, running around visiting a lot, of, you know, having the quarterly business review. And one of the top uh, conversations we've had with all of our distributors, and I know it's true with Synex since we're here today, um, but finance is, is one of the wings of their offering to, to their vertical space. So I certainly would ask anybody about that. Um, as you go forward because it, it would be a great solution. Great. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Hopefully our discussion has given you some actionable information that you can apply to your business, either some vertical markets you can start exploring to get into, or maybe some additional financing options to get into those uh, vertical markets. Before we go, I want to thank, give thanks again to Steve Bergeron from Prey Key Tech for joining us. Thank you, Steve. Always a pleasure, Jim. Uh, and thank you to Synex for inviting us uh, to their conference here today uh, in Toronto. Uh, Business Solutions is the only uh, media outlet uh, invited here, and so we appreciate the opportunity to have exclusive interviews like the one that you just heard uh, and watched. Uh, and thank to you, thanks to you so much for listening and for watching. Our goal at Business Solutions is to, is to provide growth strategies for the IT channel. For more information, go to our website at www.bsminfo.com.